Columbia police identified the man who died last night after an hours long standoff with Columbia police. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kyrie on Lee. Police Chief Jeff Jones says 34 year old Curtis Haas died in his barricaded home after pointing a handgun at officers in a threatening manner. Care CG 13's Mark Slavitt reports from Columbia City Hall. Police Chief Jones held a media briefing here in the council chambers. Jones says Haas was a suspected child molester. Jones says three Columbia police officers are on administrative leave after firing their weapons during the standoff at Haas's home near Rock Quarry Park. Jones is not saying whether Haas died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound or by gunfire from police. An autopsy is scheduled for Haas early next week. Jones says these types of incidents cause stress for the families of the officers and the suspect. The biggest fear is that we don't get to go home or we make some mistake and families feel that stress. And I had three officers go home last night um, under that type of stress. Um, we're here to protect people um, and keep people safe. And I believe they did and I think they acted admirably. Um, but that doesn't come without costs and their families will be feeling that stress as well. Uh, just like Mr. Haas's family. The Columbia Police SWAT and Crisis Negotiation teams assisted officers during the standoff with Haas. Officers entered Haas's home with the help of a robot and a drone. It's really important to note that guns were staged all throughout the residence and furniture was barricaded uh, against the door. It was clear that he was preparing for this. Jones says Haas exchanged gunfire with police from his upstairs window. Officers used 223 caliber rifles while Haas had multiple firearms in his home. The Missouri Highway Patrol and the Columbia Police Department's Internal Affairs Unit continue their investigation. And as the number of coronavirus cases increases, the American Red Cross is urging healthy individuals to donate now. Care CG 13's Jessica Hart is in the studio with more. Kyrie, on the American Red Cross said in a statement they are closely monitoring the coronavirus outbreak and there's currently no data or evidence that COVID-19 can be transmitted by blood transfusion. But they're asking healthy individuals to donate. I spoke with Joe Zidlow, a communications manager at the American Red Cross, and he said they've maintained regular contact with the Centers for Disease Control. And just yesterday, Governor Mike Parsons held a conference call with a number of organizations, including the American Red Cross. Zidlow emphasized one of the most important things right now is maintaining a sufficient blood supply. Missouri State Highway Patrol Troop B responded to an air evac helicopter being forced to make an emergency landing last night after an off duty radio operator called it in. Care CG 13's Noah Brown spoke with that operator. He joins us in the studio with the latest. Justin Parks was in the right place at the right time yesterday evening, and he was able to quickly help the passengers of that helicopter almost immediately after it touched down. Troop B radio operator Justin Parks was off duty and driving home from Columbia with his daughters when he says he saw the helicopter make a rough emergency landing in a field south of Moberly. Uh, mostly just concerned that everybody was okay and to get help there. Uh, we, we may have been the only people that witnessed this and just getting an accurate location and getting help to them is really all that we were worried about. Parks notified his office and ran from his car to the landing zone to make sure the occupants of the helicopter were all right. All passengers were unharmed and soon another helicopter came to recover the patient. Highway Patrol Lieutenant Colin Stosberg says Parks' response and quick action were what any first responder is trained to do. And it's just an example of the traditions of the patrol, uh, the partnerships that we share with our communities, and uh, we're thankful for the people that we serve, and we're also thankful for the personnel that you know day in and day out are there to help people in, in a time of need. A sentiment Parks echoed, saying he didn't do anything out of the ordinary or above the call of duty. Oh, I just trying to help out, and I, I'd want somebody to do the same if I was ever in a situation like that. So no, I don't. I don't think that at all. all right. Park said all the passengers appeared to be okay. A spokesman for the agency said a preliminary investigation leads them to believe a mechanical issue forced the pilot to make that emergency landing. A federal investigation into the incident is being conducted.